guys thank you so much once again and welcome back to Yvette show my name is Yvette on Tinder. now I'll start by saying that I'm sorry for going away for so long but today I'm back in the studio to give you more of the content yeah I went back to school as you all know that uh, education never ends I want to be a professor someday and dreams are valid so today I'm going to discuss sex with you. So if you have anything that you want me to talk more on, you can go to the comment section and tell me what you think about this. But today I'm just going to talk about the pleasure in sex because sex is all about pleasure. Why do we do sex? Sex is about pleasure. Don't tell me that people do sex for procreation. Yes, I know people get married because they want to procreate, but uh, the main thing in it because uh, it is because of sex. Uh, people start doing sex even at teens. Uh, so you can't tell me that at a teen you want to procreate. They do it because of pleasure. So at what time do you feel the pleasure in sex? So today I'm going to talk about what we should and we should not do during sex. Now, let's start. First, you should make use of the foreplay. Now, foreplay is where the, the, you, the two partners, you and your girlfriend, you and your boyfriend, you touch and kiss each other to feel each other so that uh, you two may become aroused before you start the game. You should make use of that one first because it is very important. Don't rush into sex when uh, you two are not ready. And sure, you for a man, ensure that your woman is ready before you go in. Ensure that she's wet before you go in, so that you two don't end up hurting each other. If you go in when uh, the lady is not wet, you will end up hurting her, and you will end up hurting yourself as well. Another thing, uh, you should not rush with the foreplay. Take it slowly touching and kissing, but you should also not take the foreplay too long because uh, your woman may end up reaching the orgasm when you are still there, which is not bad. It is okay, but uh, uh, too much of it is also boring. So you have to take some time, but not too much. And then uh, until at that point when she's ready, then you go in and enjoy your thing. Another thing, you should not kissing. You should not stop kissing. Sorry about that when having sex. Why should you not stop kissing when you're having sex? Because this is the part where the two of you feel you are connected to each other. The love point. You understand when you are having sex and uh, you feel that pleasure and you're kissing at the same time. Yeah, it, it, it increases the, the momentum. It increases the, the pleasure in sex. So you should not stop kissing. Uh, another thing that uh, I think you should do when you're having sex, because sex is all about pleasure. Well, uh, one thing you should know that sex is not for one person. Most women normally think that sex is only for a man. You just go down there and you lie down and you leave everything for a man to do. No, this is a game of two. You can also be dominant and take control of the game by maybe going on top and uh, taking control of the game. You understand, I, I, I hope you understand uh, what I mean at this time. Take control and take charge of your man it is very important uh, the other time i said that you can uh, you can uh, satisfy yourself with the worst sex player so far this is when you be, when you when you become dominant you are able to satisfy yourself even with the worst sex player so you can uh, go, go come on top be flexible come on top uh, do your thing make it uh, better yeah you, yeah do the best that uh, you can try different styles also if you do this style today, it may be boring. You can discuss uh, between the two of you before you try a different style. Ensure that you discuss and you have an agreement because what you like, the other partner may not like and you may end up pissing each other off. It is not good to piss each other off during sex and sex is very important. It is so sweet, it is so nice. So just discuss these different styles and give them a try at least once then you will be settled on what to do. Uh, different styles is also good in sex. If you try this, you try that, you say, let's try this, this today. I know there are women who don't like trying different styles, but it is good. You will agree with me if you listen to your man and uh, try a different style. Even you men, you can listen to your partner and try a different style. It will be so nice. 
another thing I want to say is that uh, you should stop talking too much when you're having sex. Unnecessary talks is not important because you will end up uh, turning off your partner. But uh, there is this point that now you have to cue your partner when you are about to come. Uh, when a woman is about to reach orgasm, it is always very important to cue your man. Make him know that, uh, that he's doing a good job. Make him know uh, that uh, where he touched, you feel so good and you're about to come so that you know how to do his game. If you don't talk, you're just there. You will also piss him off because you are just too quiet. You're not using words like, uh, I'm about to come. You should use the words like, yes, yeah, right there, things like that. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, men have this tendency of asking, of asking the ladies, how are you feeling? What? Don't ask how are you feeling when you are not told. And she will not tell you how she's feeling. You will be able to know when she says yes. She will tell you right there. She will tell you I'm about to come. So those are the things that uh, you should know. I'll talk about those one today. But another thing I want to post to you. Why do people normally get stuck during sex? I've never known this thing and I, do, I normally ask myself why do partners get stuck during sex and uh, if you, you do your research you'll find out that uh, the most people who get stuck during sex are, sex are the married uh, partners who are having an extramarital affair, those who are cheating in their marriages, they're the people who normally get stuck. Why do they get stuck? And uh, you, you, we normally see that when they get stuck they're taken to the hospitals. Huh? What do doctors do to, get, to, to help them separate? I don't know. That is a question that I'm posing to you. We can discuss that on my comment section. And also remember to tell me which topic do you want me to come back here and discuss with you. And I will be back here and make it a topic of discussion with the relevant fact that will be a reality to you. Just remember that love and pleasure are my rituals. Thank you for watching this show and continue subscribing to my show. Share with your friends. I'm Yvette Otita.